be filming when I go to hotels. To me, hotels, you know, every night there's new people. So it's a lot of people in and out, in and out, and not everybody is the cleanest people. So to feel comfortable when you're out of your own element, these are the things that I do. It takes 10 minutes to just wipe down, disinfect everything, just to feel comfortable where you are. And I hope you guys enjoy um, this video and let's get started. Hello my pretty. so now we are going to clean the hotel. It should take 10 minutes, but with two people or more, it'll be faster. So this is what we do every time we go to a hotel or any place that we don't really feel comfortable or where there's a lot of traffic of people in and out, in and out. So let's get started. Okay. First, we're going to do this toilet right quick. We just spray it. With the Lysol handle all around. Make sure you get inside of your curtains. Take away all them germs. Always make sure you get the shower head. Spray it up inside the shower head. Then we always take a towel and we put one on the outside of the floor and we take a towel. And we put in the inside of the tub so you to stand on. Always take your toilet tissue, come over here. Take your toilet tissue and unwind some of it and throw that away. Okay? Make sure you spray and use your bleach wipe to wipe the knobs and then the bathroom knob. And then your bathroom is done. Okay, so then we come over here and we spray around, just spray around the headboard just to kill the germs. Then you take the bleach wipes and you clean off the foams. Take the table, wipe down the table. I mean, this is just a quick job because you won't be here too long, but just for you to feel comfortable. Okay, so now some more bleach wipes. Just clean the counters off that you're gonna be putting your stuff on. Okay, inside your sinks. Sometimes when another person left, if it looks clean, the maid is not going to touch it. But that don't mean that the other people didn't touch it either. We don't put anything in the drawers, but we just wipe down around to the beds. Always make sure that you have white sheets so you can see anything crawling around or anything. And we have 91 proof alcohol any bed bugs and stuff we don't bring any of our stuff inside until we do this 10 minute deep quick cleaning like I said if it's two or more people you'll be finished much faster okay we spray around the sides of the beds we spray the pillows by the time we come back later on tonight this will all be nice and dry. Cause I soak mine. Cause I don't want to take this stuff back home or any bed bugs back home. 
because you know how much money you have to pay. Who cares about messing up the bed? Check your bed. Make sure there's nothing under there. They have a quilt on this bed. You take that quilt, throw it in a corner somewhere, and spray it up real good. But I don't like hotels that have quilts on the bed. Because the last person used that same quilt. I always do my headboards as well. Just in case I lean my head on it. I have an extra bottle to pour in here if I use it all. Tell you guys, bed bugs doesn't mean, if you get bed bugs, doesn't mean you're a nasty person. You just went somewhere that had bed bugs. And it's a lot of money, and especially if you have a house. If you have an apartment, then the apartment complex would be responsible. As you can see, I almost used up my whole bottle. I ain't playing. Then we come yeah. back. Every room is going to be a little different because every room is different. Remote. Number one germiest thing in a hotel room. Number one. I don't plan on going all inside here, so I'm not going to do all of that, but I will give it a good spray, just, just, just in case I touch that. What I don't wipe, I just give it a good spray. I come over here, since we have a den area, Come over here to the den area. And I just wipe down just in case I sit down here to do some taping or something. I know I gave it a good wipe down. We got another bar area over here as well. Where is the lights in here? Okay. Usually they have chips, stuff like that. Don't touch that stuff because a bag of chips will cost you $6. A cookie will cost you $10. In New York, I know it'll cost you $10 because they said that we ate a cookie one time when I was in a hotel in New York. And I fought that one because I never touched their stuff. But this is the refrigerator, but I had nothing open in here. I just like to clean here. Then we have some furniture over here. So I just spray the furniture. Wipe it down. Make sure we get all of the doorknobs. Okay. This is another thing that's very German, and they never clean it. They never clean it out. They just throw a new bag inside. Always just take it, take a bleach wipe. Wipe out all around it. 
won't take long. Then open the bag. And see, this is real germy because this is not even a bag that fit. So this bag don't even fit. So what I would do is go take and put the ice inside here and then just sit it inside like that. Because this bag don't even fit, so you know that's nasty. And make sure you get the lights off and you spray the carpet. Especially where you know you're going to be walking. Make sure you spray it towards the bathroom. I'm not saying walk barefoot, but I'm just saying just to spray the carpet to, you know, sanitize it right quick. It's just amazing to me how I see people come in, go in the hotel rooms, and act like they live there. Throw their stuff all over, jump on top of the bed, and these are the reasons why I do what I do. So, don't forget to light all the place up too. It's all right. Smell will go away, but at least you know you got a little bit of sanitizing done. Now that we have disinfected the room, it smells nice and clean in here. Now we can feel sterilize the room. So, thank you so much for watching Work of Excellence. And we will see you on our next cleanup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the bottom. Till the next time.